Hey guys, welcome back. Just wanted to give a brief overview of the lab results since I got my own. I often find that people ask about them and are kind of confused about what the lab results say. So I'm just going to use my own lab results to uh, provide an example and discuss things really quickly, uh, five minutes or less, uh, what things actually mean so that you can talk with your doctor about them. The first thing is the CBC, the complete blood count. In it, you're going to find things like the white blood cells, the red blood cells, hemoglobin, hematocrit, and platelet count. These are the top things. White blood cell count talks about your immune system. If there's too much white blood cells, then there could be an indi indication of infection. If there's too little, there could be an immunological compromise. Red blood cell count talks about how many red blood cells you have in your blood. Um, hemoglobin will talk about the molecule that your red blood cell uses to carry oxygen throughout your body. Hematocrit is the viscosity of the blood, and this is often compared to the difference between water and maple syrup. If you'll try to run water or pour water out, versus pouring maple syrup out, you'll know that water runs very fluidly, versus maple syrup is also fluid, but it's very sticky. The final thing here is the platelet count, which is responsible for the scabs that form when you cut your skin, and it helps you stop bleeding. The next item on the blood work list is the CMP, or the Comprehensive Metabolic Panel. This talks about your glucose levels. It also tells you more about your kidney function, your liver function, as well as your electrolyte levels. So here we have glucose or blood sugar. Here, the BUN, the creatinine, and the GFR, as well as the BUN creatinine ratio. All of these components talk about your kidney function and if they're in the normal range. Here we have electrolytes, sodium, potassium, chloride, carbon dioxide, or bicarb, as well as calcium. All of these are electrolytes that are in your bloodstream. And finally, we look at the liver function as far as the total protein, the albumin, which is another kind of protein that the liver produces. The globulin is also another kind of protein that the liver makes. And also, we like to look at the three different enzymes that the liver uses, alkaline phosphatase, AST, and ALT. And given the level of these enzymes, as well as these proteins, we can determine the health of the liver. The next important lab work is the lipid panel, and this one checks your cholesterol levels. There's the total cholesterol, and then there are uh, a breakdown of the different kinds of cholesterol in the blood. Most of us have heard of HDL cholesterol, which is also known as the good cholesterol, and we've also heard of the LDL cholesterol, which is also known as the bad cholesterol. And there's also triglycerides. Fun fact, triglycerides doesn't always go up just because you have elevated cholesterol in your diet. It actually goes up often because you have a high carbohydrate diet, but we can talk about that in another video. Finally, we have the TSH. This is the thyroid stimulating hormone. Basically, we run this test in order to determine the health and function of your thyroid gland. If this is too high or too low, we can figure out maybe there's something going on and uh, treat it accordingly. All right, that's it for today. I'll go into depth in other videos about each of these labs. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. If you like what you heard and what you saw, and you found this information helpful, please like and subscribe the video. It'll help me know what people enjoy and want to know more about so that I can continue to make more videos for you. Otherwise, have a good day.